morning guys uh, I woke up and I only got like three hours of recaps um, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna be going to Pennsylvania because I got nine hours and 33 minutes on my clock and this is a live unload so say it takes an hour that brings me down to 830 plus 30 minutes so there's eight hours and then an hour to get to that place so that takes me down to seven hours and that place I'm going is like eight hours away so I don't think it's gonna work out so I'll probably have to call Tim here in a little bit once I get unloaded and be like hey I'm gonna have to take a reset and maybe he'll say you know we'll just schedule it tomorrow and have you deliver it tomorrow or something but hey right, guys we made it to our delivery point uh, we're gonna go in and check in um, and see what dock we need to be in I think I'm gonna try to fall back asleep Shipping and receiving this way. I, th I don't think that's for this place though. It's, yeah, that's for Tahoe or whatever. We're going to uh, Son Sonico Products. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's supposed to be this building down here. But let me go figure out and check in and see what's up. Hey guys, so we got it in the dock. Of course, the one time I don't whip out my camera because the last couple times I whipped out my camera, I thought I was gonna hit something. So I didn't get it out this time, and I literally nailed it. I was like up against that curb over there, cut it hard left, then cut it hard right, and then hard left again. And then I got my tandems like out in the middle, and I just kind of slowly worked them into this spot. And I had to pull up one time just to straighten up a little bit, but we nailed it. So, uh, you know, I wish I could do that on camera for you guys. I think there's just more pressure on, and it makes me more cautious because... If I hit something and I upload it, I'm definitely going to be on bonehead truckers, so. Kind of fell asleep, I think, when she was unloading me. I went to go lay down and was, like, watching TikToks, and I was like, I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. And I, I know that there was eight pallets on the trailer, and it felt like she'd been on and off the trailer eight times, because you can definitely feel it, because it shakes her whole truck, because a forklift weighs, like, 12,000 pounds or whatnot. And so it looked, felt like it, she'd been off the truck eight times or whatever, so I checked the light to see if it's green, you know, to tell me I'm good. It's still red and like, you know, I'm, you know, just kind of like napping a little bit here and there. And uh, then I look at my suspension load and it still says 50 PSI. So I was like, all right, she's still unloading. So I went to sleep. I like, I think I passed out and it felt like it was like five seconds later. She's like beating on my window. So I was like, ah, you know, so I think I fell asleep. But we got about two hours and 20 minutes till we get to this place. We got a live load. Um, I looked at the... Uh, time they have scheduled for uh, the drop-off and since it's a drop and hook I got like a 24-hour window and so I'm just gonna try to drive as far as I can today um, and get parked at somewhere decent at a decent hour maybe like three o'clock or something um, I don't even know if I have enough hours to drive that I barely have enough hours to drive to three o'clock I have enough hours to drive to four o'clock so parking should be easy to find I need to stop out of loves tonight because I need a shower um, and yeah I don't know if this guy in this gray Taurus right here is drunk or just texting or what, but he's like, he gets like really close to that rumble strip and like yanks it back over. Like he's came pretty close to the center line a couple times. So I don't know what he's doing. Some older guy. I doubt he's texting. But yeah, there he goes. He's on that rumble strip again. Hopefully he's not having like a diabetic episode or something. That would be really bad. I hope he's okay. I really do. I'm kind of worried about him. But stuff you see out here, you know, it's, you're always gonna, I mean, you're not always gonna see something, but I mean, I probably see something that's a little odd like once a week at least. Like I always come across something that I'm like, oh, this could be bad, you know? I have yet, not like I'm wanting to see one, but I haven't seen a car accident yet. I've actually never witnessed a car accident in my life, other than the fact that I was parked at um, like a baseball game and I was like 15 and I just got in the driver's seat and this guy in this big old dually with a big old hitch on the back backed into my mom's car because I was driving after my baseball game and she's with me. And he backed into us, but I mean, it was, he was totally at fault. We were parked and he just backed into us. I think he was texting, he wasn't paying attention. And then there was another time at work where I was parked and my buddy backed into me and 
you know, I don't think he's paying attention either, but he, swi he swiped the side of my car and like hit my mirror, but my mirror folded and didn't break. So I just needed a door panel replaced, which was like $4,000, which is just a ton. But, and then I ended up selling that car like right after I had it fixed. Cause it kind of like leaked air a little bit and it was kind of annoying. It just didn't ride as quiet anymore. Um, and I was just, you know, I had that car paid off. It was like a 2017 Ford Focus. I had it paid in full for about six months and I was just ready for a new vehicle. So I sold it. So today is going to be extremely short guys. Um, so I got to this place and they told me there's an eight hour wait to get loaded. I only have five hours left on my clock, so I can't even stay. So what I, what they asked me to do here was to drop the trailer. So I had to get it cleared by my fleet manager, Timothy, to drop the, to drop the trailer. And they said that was fine. So I'm gonna end up dropping this trailer and then bobtailing over to a, like a Loves and just sitting there until tomorrow morning and then rolling out. Um, but they said they're, like they're so far behind right now, there's a trailer sitting in my door that I'm supposed to back into. So I gotta wait for that too. Um, but then see if I was like, we're gonna get you a different load. And I told Tim, I was like, dude, come on. Like, just give me that one. Cause the next, the one they sent me after that it was only 400 miles or 100 miles and like I don't want to mess with that like <laughs> like that is not a good load like I that's like a local route um let me put my seatbelt on so you guys don't have to hear that um but as I was like pulling in I was like two minutes out from pulling in and he called me and was like hey there's a long wait here um we'll see what we can do I was like all right and then I got here and she was like yeah your load was waived they're really far behind and I was like great so it, I'm just gonna come back tomorrow morning and pick up this trailer. So we're gonna bobtail a little bit. I love bobtailing because this thing's fast. I mean, kind of, not really, but it's faster than uh, what it is even with an empty trailer for sure. Um, but I'll uh, show the backing in. Hopefully we can nail it this time since we nailed that back the other day, but I didn't have my camera out or this morning, not the other day. I'm so like twisted on my days, dude. Um, but we're gonna try to find somewhere to park over here. Hopefully there's a spot alongside the curb. She said there was, but I don't know if I really believe her. Um, Cause it looks like there's trailers over here. So we're just gonna have to try to find a spot that we're not in the way of someone trying to pull out and like all this other stuff and then just wait for door 78 to be open. Who knows how long that will be. If it takes too long, dude, I'm just gonna like drop it in one of these spots and like go tell her that I dropped it in one of the spots and they're gonna have to go grab it tonight and load it because if, I don't know, it's, this is just a mess so far. Um, I think I can park. I don't even, I can't even see where door 78 is. What door is this? 92. Let me just uh, pull up and then find out where it is. It's gotta be like one of these right here. He said it was a crate, it's 83. Dude, if it's in there, I'm not even trying that. They can do it themselves, that's way too tight. Um, I bet this is door seven, that's door 81. So what? Oh, she's, they got a Crete carriers in there. So it's that one right there. But it gives me plenty of room, so we're going to put this alongside this curb back here. Get out of the way of this Schneider so when he's ready to go, he can go. All right, I really don't have hours to be wasting here, guys. So we're just going to put it in dock 82. Oh, I think 82 is in between those two. <laughs> I forgot where it was at. I could just put it in dock 75 here, too. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put it in dock 75. And then I'll just tell her that it's in dock 75. Or no, we're gonna go for 82 because 82 is easier. But I'm just gonna tell her, I, you know, the longer I sit, the less hours I have for tomorrow and I'm just wasting them. And to me, that's... A waste of my time. I hope I'm putting it in the right hole. Except we already cut it way too deep. Yeah, it 
looks like there's a dock there, so we're going to the right area. Definitely off here though. I hate these short trailers. Well, maybe we're not too bad. We're just a little bit off. But, I mean, once you get it where you kind of need it, that's when the easy work begins. So, we need to cut it left, get it to travel over that way. So we're still over a little bit, but we just try to get as much room. And then they can, I mean, they probably can just load it from this dock. But if they can't, then they'll have to pull it out themselves and... Oh no. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Um, yeah, we went the way wrong way there. If you go to Truck Dynasty, they'll teach you a little trick on how to move it back over. And to do that, you just go left, straight left. And that's kind of what I just did there. Maybe I went too far this time. I think I did. <laughs> Man, we are not doing good today. Oh, maybe we're good. We need a little bit of right here. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit, but. All right, we're gonna pull it up to the left. Left, right, because you want your tandems to come over and then you want to cut it back left. And give it some right in reverse. And I'll bring it back over to that side. Might be good there. Hard left. And then once we get close, I'm gonna get out and pull my tandems up. I wish there was like lines. All right, we're gonna go. I guess we're gonna pull up here and just straighten out a little bit and then we're gonna pull our tandems. So now we're gonna go slide our tandems, but I really hope my GoPro is not breaking because it's been taking a while to like start recording. I don't know, I kind of don't like how low I lowered or how much room I left. I'm gonna pick this back up real quick and just drop the landing gear just a little bit more. Oh. Just gonna lower them just a wee bit more. I guess we probably should put our air back in. Because otherwise, otherwise, it's gonna sit really low. But once they load this tomorrow, if I were to leave it like that, it'd be a lot harder to get under. So we'll just lower it a little bit more. As 
like an optical illusion there. Is it even in? No, it wasn't. Okay. All right, we'll leave it there. I went in there and told her, and she's like, well, you're supposed to drop it in 78. And I was like, well, you got another trailer sitting in there, and you guys are so far behind. I don't need to be wasting my hours here waiting for you guys to load this trailer when I'm already wasting my time on you guys loading the other trailer. And she was being rude about it, and I was being, like, totally polite. I was just like, hey, I had to drop it in 80 because I've already been waiting 20 minutes, and the trailer is still flashing red. And she's just like, well, I told you to drop in 78. And I was like, well, you got a trailer there. Like, you know, I can't, I'm not trying to be rude about it, you know, but I'm just like, I, I'm not gonna sit here and waste two hours of my clock. You know, like, I don't know how all that sleeper birth stuff works. Like if I put it in sleeper birth, will I get the hours back tomorrow? Because I feel like if you put it in sleeper birth and then you drive afterwards, then it's just gonna count that as like off duty time, but I only have four hours. So even if I sit two hours and I drive afterwards after sitting for two hours, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take that clock away. So I was just like, I'm not, I can't, you know? So I dropped it, I backed it into that dock. If they wanna load from that dock, they can. Otherwise they can have their yard jockey move it over to 78. But I just, you know, I've already wasted a good portion of my time can't tell if that's yellow or green is it yellow I can't I can't tell I got was sitting really close to me but we got 1.9 miles till we get to this loves it's supposed to be a really nice loves but it's supposed to be busy all the time like there's like hardly ever any parking so I'm hoping if I just see something, I can just whip it in in the bobtail uh, without a trailer, without having to worry about someone stealing it. Like if there's two spots, we'll be golden. Even if it's like really hard backs, like we're bobtailing, so we can easily get in that spot without of, you know, any risk or anything like that. Um, but sorry, the video is really short, guys. Uh, I really didn't have much to record today as my day's only been two hours long. Um, just driving up to drop that other load off at that other place. And I think I did record the back there. I can't remember, honestly. Uh, but like always, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep those wheels on moving. Peace. I hope you're not planning to waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply. Now your vibe.